All right, hosses, welcome back to another video. And in this tutorial, I want to talk to you more about tables. And I know that we covered tables like a real brief overview in like the second tutorial or something. But in these next couple tutorials, it's probably going to be this one and one more after this. We're going to be getting a little more in depth about tables, learning exactly what we can do with them. And also, I'm going to demonstrate why you would use a table rather than a normal spreadsheet. So if you guys are kind of confused on when to use each one, hopefully this clears things up. So first of all, I'm going to be working with this fantasy hockey game example. You can work with any data set. Just make sure that it has a numerical column in it for this tutorial. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and open fantasy hockey game. And the first thing I want to do is actually make a table. Now, if you remember, in order to make a table, go ahead and select any cell in your data set and go to this insert tab and click table so it's gonna give its best guess and get these little marching ants around your data set and if it didn't get it exactly then you can just go ahead and drag with your mouse exactly where your data set is but it got it right this time so I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK and look at it it just converted that data set to a table added styling and added some cool functionality as well now I don't know if you guys noticed because you're probably looking at this area down here but as soon as it made the table what it also did is it popped up a new tab right here this table tools design tab and actually if you click away you can see that it disappears so this tab right here only appears when you have a cell within the table selected it's specific to tables so if you're ever like okay where the heck did that tab go just make sure you click in your table and it'll reappear again so what is this tab this tab allows you to add some cool functionality and also how to style your, your table now we'll get into exactly what's in this ribbon later on but the first thing I want to show you guys one of the coolest things about tables is that you can really easily sort your data so before what you would have to do is you would have to select a column go up here to sort and filter and you know it was kind of a pain in the butt not very intuitive with tables it's a lot different because in every single column they have this little drop down menu right here in this drop down menu it gives you a bunch of different options but one of the most popular ones is the sorting option so just like if you go to any website and you're shopping for items, they allow you to sort the columns really easily and quickly. Excel does the same thing with tables. So I'm going to go ahead and take average points per game and sort it smallest to largest. Look at that. Pretty stinking sweet. Now, something I like even more than just easily sorting your data is filtering data. So check this out. This is, of course, like I said, I don't know, probably five times already, is a hockey game that you pick whatever player is going to score the most points. So this is the average points that they scored up to this point, in the, or pretty much the past games that they played in the season. This is what they've been averaging so far. So the average is, it looks like right around two. And I have this theory that I always want to pick players above average so I wish that there is a way that we can just filter this entire table to only show the players above two points now of course we could just go ahead and select everything and okay let me just get to and let me just delete that but you know what it's not very efficient and if your data isn't sorted by the criteria that you want it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt so instead, an easier way is this. Click this again and go to number filters. And this gives you a bunch of different ways that you can filter data. What I want is greater than. So whenever I put two right here, what I'm basically telling Excel is only show me the players who have an average point per game of greater than two. And of course, you can do equals to less than but of course I want greater than because that means I don't know kind of like the better players so now check it out not only did I sort it really easily but I'm only looking at the players who are in my eyes above average pretty sweet some really quick built-in functionality 
Now, the last thing, well, I don't want to say the last thing, but one other thing that I want to show you guys is this. Whenever you're just working with normal columns in a normal worksheet and you have some header like, um, I don't know, I'll put like price. Look what happens whenever I scroll down. It disappears. So if I'm looking at a bunch of data and a bunch of numbers right here, I'm going to have to keep scrolling up. Okay, that was price. Uh, maybe this column was the item name. Okay, kind of a pain in the butt. However, go ahead and select a cell in your table and start scrolling down here. Check out what happens. As soon as I scroll down, the columns, which were A, B, C, D, and E, they change to the table header. So no matter how far you scroll down, you always can see exactly what each column is. So this is the salary, this is the average points per game, this is the position, pretty stinking sweet. So for this small example, it doesn't really look useful, but trust me, once you have large spreadsheets with a bunch of columns and rows, it comes in handy a lot. So that's kind of, um, <laughs> you know, I'm getting kind of winded because I'm getting a little too uh, excited about these tables. So I'm going to take a break. I might, ha you know, have a hot pocket, maybe a Gatorade. I don't know. But uh, thank you guys for watching. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be covering more about tables. And uh, hopefully I didn't get too excited and, you know, cream my pants or something. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.